that's the million dollar question, right? How do I get my person to quit drinking? How do I get my husband to stop drinking? First of all, let me just say, I'm sorry for smiling, but let me say this. If that was indeed possible, there would be nobody drunk left. Because the thing I know is, is that family members have tried everything, hunting them down, pouring their alcohol out, promising them to be a better this or a better that, or, or uh, calling in excuses for them. So let me, let me tell you how to get your loved one to stop drinking. Change the family system. You begin to do something different. You begin to change. You begin to take your hands off. You begin to allow the natural consequences to happen. You start to do that, and your loved one's gonna get uncomfortable. And I have bad news. Discomfort is a big part of change. When we start to do it different, we are gonna be uncomfortable. So if you want your loved one to quit doing something, you learn what you can do for you. You learn what you can change. You learn who you can really do something about. And the bad news is it's not them. If that was true, they would have stopped already. Well, I can pretty much guarantee he's gonna get angry with you. So the very first thing you wanna do is make sure you're safe. And that's the primary thing. And remember, remember, they are not gonna be happy about you changing. A matter of fact, that's actually an indicator that you're on the right road. Because if they're not happy with what you're doing, it means you're probably doing it a little bit different. So they could get angry and let them have their anger. And you get back into your own life. What is the next best thing for you to do to take care of you? That's where you go with that. And stay safe. We never, ever put up with abuse or physical or yelling or screaming, ever. You get yourself somewhere safe. That's your job, to keep you safe. Well, he will promise. People who are wanting to stop drinking, and that's kind of the really difficult thing with alcoholism is, or drug addiction, is, is nobody wants to continue drinking the amounts that they drink. They want to stop, and they're one, part of the sad road to coming to the end of themselves is actually trying. So, so if they say, I want to control it, I'll only have three drinks from here on out, one of the things you can do is you can say, and if, if that doesn't work, would you be willing to contact blah, blah? For us, of course, I would encourage you to have them contact Treehouse. Let them have a talk with somebody because we get that. We get that they want to quit. So if they're not alcoholic, they'll control it. But I, I got bad news. Very few people who try to control their drinking can. That's the bad news. If they're thinking about, I mean, think about how often do you think about trying to control your drinking? Probably not at all. That's because it's not a problem. We only try to control things that are a problem. So he probably won't be able to do it, but he also will probably need to give it a try so that he comes to the end of that for himself. I want to just acknowledge the fact that you're even looking at this, that you're seeking answers for yourself, that you're trying to discover what to do. And again, please, please, please be so compassionate with yourself. These are big changes you're making. These are not easy. Um, I also am the child of two alcoholic parents. I am in recovery from addiction myself, and I have three sons who suffer with addiction. And so I have way more personal experience with how to navigate this, and that is what brought me to doing this, is the passion that regardless of whether your loved one is in recovery or not, you can go on and have a life that you want to live. And if you want help, please go to our website for your loved one or for yourself, treehouserecovery.com. The link is at the bottom of this video. And good job for doing something for you because that is the person you can help. You can help you have a better life.